Hello and welcome back for another saxophone tutorial from Nottingham Music Excellence. So I'm going to play polka in the grade 2 syllabus today and then I'm going to play it through again with a metronome track at a reduced tempo so that you can play along with me as a practice track and then I'm going to invite you to play along with the accompaniment yourself. So if you're looking to improve your saxophone playing then do of course click that bell notification on the subscribe button and that will keep you up to date with other uploads that I do for this grade. Hope you enjoy the video, here we go. Okay, so you've heard the music now, let's just say a few words about some of the detail and I'm going to give you some tips to help you make it sound really awesome. So I think some of the main difficulties in this piece are the quick finger movement, you need to be able to play really legato, quick articulation skills and some fluid legato playing going up to top D on the instrument which is quite tricky for grade 2 I think and also really rhythmic precision as well. Now I do like these pieces I think that have a piano introduction before you play. I think for pupils that does just help out a little bit and it gives you a few bars just to settle the tempo. So start this with a really strong rhythmic pulse and a big confident sound. So already I think we've got into some quite tricky music here. That's quite tricky tonguing I think for grade two, isn't it? It's quite quick. So try and say that. I always think if you can say that, then you should, it should be able to transfer onto the instrument. So if you can say ta 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 then that contact that you make with your teeth in order to make that sound in here should transfer that same contact onto the reed there. So if I say it and then play it, I always get this to do, I always get my pupils to do this with me. So we say it and then play it. So if I play ta 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 ta. If you're still finding that quite tricky and it's a little bit too fast, I think you could go slur to tongue to there. I don't think anyone He's going to lose too much sleep over that, so you could play. So then now, if you play the whole bar with that phrasing, you'd get. And then when it's sped up. Personally, I think that sounds absolutely fine. I don't think you would lose any marks for doing that at all. And that's a good little fix for, you know, for, for passages like that. I do that all the time. Anyway, and then moving on, we have a similar passage, but down to piano. And notice the next time it's not marked staccato for some reason. It's just, it's just left as a legato passage. And then back to forte again for the third line and some quite fluid legato playing here, I think. Quite tricky that and play with a big sound, big confident sound. In a minute when I've done gone through the tutorial, I'd like you to play that with me with the metronome at a reduced tempo and see if you can keep that really even with me. Okay, and moving on to the fourth line, last line, here we've got the piano and forte and we've got a nice crescendo moving up to that last few bars. So all in all, I think this is quite a nice jolly piece to play. It, it's a very short piece actually because it's a bit more up tempo, it goes by very quickly 
So I think you've just got to make sure that you prepare this really, really well. Practice it slowly so that don't leave anything to chance because this piece, when you play it for an exam, will just go like a flash. It's a very short piece. OK, so I think that's it for the tricks and tips. Now I'm going to get my metronome out and I'm going to set it to 66, which is quite slow. See if you can play this really evenly with me and, and get it really accurate. Here we go. So two bars for nothing. One, two, two. And now try and play along with the piano part yourself and see if you can synchronize it with the accompaniment really accurately. Here we go. Okay guys, I think that's it for Polka. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, of course, click that like button, leave a comment in that section below. Let me know how you're getting on with grade two and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.